All right, here's another formative assessment uh, tech tool called uh, Padlet, uh, formerly Wallwisher, and so it's called uh, Padlet, Padlet now. Uh, it works on all devices and with an internet browser, and so a very good, uh, powerful tool and very simple. You can do one of two things. You can uh, actually just build a wall without even creating an account. I, I do suggest creating an account, though, because it gives you the opportunity to... Uh, moderate the wall even a little more strict than what a uh, regular uh, just doing it without signing in so I've signed up so if you if you haven't signed up make sure you go through the the process and um, if you don't have an account you need to sign up <coughs> here so feel free it's just actually putting in an email and password that's it and so uh, if you haven't done that yet uh, feel free to do that right now hit pause and uh, go and do that and then uh, when you're ready hit play again all right, and so we've signed up, and uh, we're going to go log in. And now what we can do is we can uh, go through, and we're going to build a wall. So up here in the right-hand corner, we're going to build a new wall. And what this is is basically a a board, um, an online board, kind of like a cork board or uh, any type of board, and you can just put uh, kids put things up there. Uh, that you want and so for instance uh, we can do uh, as a teacher I can double click here um, this is Mr. Remo and oh, if I spell my name right and then um, and so my topic is uh, what do you know about the Civil War Okay, now I have the ability to move this around and things and um, make it bigger if I want there a little bit. But So I'll put this at the top. And the one thing that we want to do is you, and you can just take this link and send it to your students. Uh, you can post it on a website. Kids can click on it and go to it, whatever, however you want to get it to your students. Um, make a QR code, whatever. And then the kids can go on here and do the same thing just like you did is double click and... Um, so this would be, let's say, this is Johnny. So Abe Lincoln was part of the Civil War, okay? And so kind of just getting those either idea generation or uh, just to post some stuff on a wall there. Now the one thing that you're going to want to do is, as this is your wall, is you're going to want to really take a look at um, the you can title your wall you can add portraits and things change your your wallpaper so we can change the background of it and so we can make it look however you want to make it look you can change the layout to be free form this is free form allow kids to do anything you can also change it to a stream what makes it uh, the newest one is at the top and uh, that sometimes gets to be difficult to read too, but this is, um, I like this form. Through your privacy settings, um, you can do a, a couple things. And so you can password protect this wall if you so choose. Um, and then give people, you know, can write on the wall privileges, whatever. Put a password to it. You can make it private. Only people that uh, you add by email. Or you can just make it public. Um, give people editing privileges to write on it as well. Now you can also have go to moderate the posts and what this will do is each uh, each post will require you to approve them that way it gives you an opportunity to read it first um, which is you know if you have a class that maybe you don't quite trust or that uh, you feel might take advantage of it go to moderate posts give them an opportunity you can read them and then uh, approve them if you want otherwise they just show up in real time Always hit submit, you know, when you do your changes. Um, notifications, you can notify when somebody else posts to your wall. Uh, an address, you can put your own custom address in there if you so choose. Uh, and so these are, are pretty important as you take a look at them. So um, really to take a look at those settings and the privacy settings are the ones where you really want to go. But again, you can use it for uh, idea generation. Um, what do you know? So like the KWL type of deal. 
you can use it to, to organize thoughts. Um, groups can use it to organize thoughts. I mean, you can always have, you know, your topic in the middle and, you know, other things around it. Uh, whatever you choose. You can also add, the cool thing about this is, you can also add uh, links, images, videos, maps, whatever. You can also upload a single file or you can take a picture of yourself. Uh, and so if you want to make, make this a file, we can um, go out to my desktop here and we can find a, a file. And so let's say I want this out there, upload it. And now that file is accessible for anybody as well. And so many different ways that uh, that you can use this uh, in your classroom uh, and have kids comment, make statements, whatever. And so it's Padlet, padlet.com. It's free. It's easy. Um, give it a shot today.